quick, Pat kept a, uh, a conflict hand with two assassinates in it. And uh, William with a Karata district flip. Now, <clears throat> generally, generally a very strong card against Dragon. I think it has a lot of uses against... Uh, lots of uses against uh, a crab that's splashing Unicorn as well. So, William starts off with a Caillou Envoy. Pat answers with his uh, Hita Guardian. William also just commenting on... Uh, he hasn't really seen Yasuki Taka played all that much. No. So hopefully we'll get to see him... Uh, See him in action. Well, it this looks game. like will pass. <clears throat> nope. Oh, yes. Thank you. He did pass. Yeah, he took the fade. And uh, William just pointed out something very interesting. Uh, Yasuki Taka actually counts crab characters that you don't own as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. So yeah, after a crab character leaves play during the conflict phase. So, actually, I mean, <laughs> yeah, uh, Taka has the has the potential to actually make a lot of money during this game. Right. Let's see if I can get. Uh, Where's Pat's, uh, just as an aside, where's uh, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where he, Pat's where honor? honor. I don't know if he's using that dial for his honor. No, I think that's his uh, bid. It's, right. So William being the first player, uh, he did play out that Haruma Skirmisher. So fire, fire military with just a skirmisher. Maybe a good idea to uh, actually covert. Oh, covert Taka. I was gonna say covert the Hita Guardian, force Taka to defend. Looks like a manicured garden got flipped over on a uh, military conflict. So Pat can defend here and. Uh, with the favorable ground, he can pump his guy up to three. Of course, Pat also is sitting on two assassinations. Now, unfortunately, neither Haruma Skirmisher nor Kaio Envoy are particularly appealing targets for an assassination. But he does get money for it, right? That is true. Three, three honor for one dollar. So he will be defending with the Hita Guardian. So first action will be to gain a fate off the Manicured Garden. You know, wondering if uh, William has a has maybe a bonsai or perhaps even an assassination of his own. So here we see a charge, Borderlands Defender coming into play. It's going to bump up his strength to four. Just uh, now this. This line of play, um, I think, suggests that William has a bonsai in his hand, because I don't think charge is the kind of thing that you would play if you didn't have, if you didn't have a way to buff it further to break the province. Uh, either, either that, or uh, potentially has an assassinate to take out the guardian as well. Okay, so that looks like Pat double uh, bonsai there bringing his uh, total up to five. Now, I, I may have... I'm not sure if I missed the... If yeah, he, there's the bonsai in response. Yeah. So you're putting all on the Borderlands defender. So that's smart, especially because Pat does have those two assassinates in his hand. So five to eight right now. 
Still not quite a break. Oh, clearly he's got the favorable ground there, so it will be an additional point of strength. So. He could do that. I mean, yeah, he, he could he could indeed do that because the Caillou Envoy has zero political strength, so you're not really worried about a political poke by the Caillou Envoy. So that looks like what he's going to huh. do. He's going to bring Taka in. That actually allows him to use the Heat of Guardians ability now as well. Absolutely. But yeah. Box here, I think maybe just to lock down the uh, conflict. <clears throat> so now I see a I see a Gaijin customs in Pat's hand, but fortunately there's no unicorn cards in play yet to take advantage of that. being a rather uneventful round. Well, Will does have a watch commander in his hand. Although I don't think you want to waste the watch commander on a uh, on a one fate zero fate on it character. Uh, no, I mean yeah. If he, <laughs> if he if he would if he could be sure that he was going to take the fate off of uh, yep. Taka, but uh, I mean there's obviously lots of ways for that character to go down. They won't even won't even wait wow. for him to try to buff. An assassination. Crazy. Okay. So that brings uh, Pat's honor count down to eight. Um, I think I would have waited for him to spend, spend yeah. something first. Because he wasn't winning the ring. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, well, he wasn't winning the ring. So I think he would have just been better off letting it happen. Uh, Sorry, letting the attack resolve right. and then... Maybe force I, him to play a card first, like you said, right? And then yeah. get him to assassinate response. So, Because as it was, actually, that exchange left uh, William up a card because he was able to draw a card and get a fate off it. Right. Well, and I also think, I don't think Pat took the um, fate for the crap character we've played. Right, right. It yes. Is a, it is an optional reaction, so we're not going to say anything, but I think yeah. that was a missed opportunity. I believe he had one and gained one off the garden, and then. Uh... So the flop now, we see an iron mine on Pat's side, uh, which is very fortunate because Taka is definitely a card that you want to you want to keep around. So here we go, another Heat of Guardian, this time with one fade on him. With a little extra money this time, uh, Pat's willing to splurge a bit. see what William responds with. Now, William's flop is it's a little mediocre. I mean, the Shurjusuke can give him a little bit of card advantage, but uh, he does get that Shurjusuke with two fit on him. And does have enough money to play a Steadfast Witch Hunter uh, with some, some fate to spare going into the conflict phase. Pat's going to play his own Steadfast Witch Hunter with two fit on it. William falls with his own, and then we're likely going to see a pass from Pat here. The bid for both players is one. So this is going to be a, a very resource-like game, I think, at least until one player manages to grab down or play a uh, spyglass. I feel like this round might be more eventful. Yeah, watch Commander coming down on, uh, on William's side. Sometimes I get lucky. What the? Yeah. <laughs> actually, I just that realized. That was the other hope. Yeah. I actually realized, I mean, as far as the dynasty goes, I mean, it's not like there's a, a lot of variation no. between. Yeah. 
Yeah, because the casual tournaments, we're not collecting deck lists. In our overlay software, we're just throwing in kind of random deck lists so we have the factions. Most of the cards we need to click on to bring them up are there, so it makes it a little, our lives a little bit easier. So Pat starts out with that looks a, like a the political. Conflict. Oh, my bad. Political. Yep. Uh, political Earth on shameful display. That's five, right? Five strength. Uh, on political, yes. Uh, there was no favor in the first round. You know, it someone should been, right? someone should have the favor, right? Okay. Okay, so shameful display coming down with some really look cool looking Sonner tokens on Pat's side. And there's a second assassination we see from uh, Pat. Uh, that's actually really good value because, yeah. So that favor looks like it's on. It's on political. Military favor. Okay. Is the is the favor uh, this card right? No, it's this right here that he's put in play. Ah. So okay. I've got the helmet, so I know it's military. I'm hoping that the uh, political favor is blue as well. To right. Make it easier. Okay, so that's a that's a break by Pat, and so because it was Earth, we'll see if uh, Pat remembers to put the keeper initiate into play. Yeah, he does indeed remember. So, pretty good first conflict for Pat. <clears throat> that leaves William's steadfast witch hunter stranded without a sacrifice no. target to did, ready Did he remember himself. to take the fate this time? No. I think he did. No, he did not. All right, so we're going to wave the crab here, getting rid yeah. of the guardian. So actually, so he did, he did go yeah. in for the, this, uh, was a step fast switch hunter. Yeah, and this time he actually does remember the Taka trigger uh, when he played Way of the Crab. Well, he lost one. He may be only doing it for his own characters. I see. So that, that looks like it's the case. He's, he's triggering it off his own characters, not. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's not a scenario that you would expect uh, all no. that often where you're playing a crab mirror match, but. So, yeah, so, Meditations yeah. on the Dow was the conflict, and it's military. And it looks like six, right? Yeah. yeah so the favorite six. Yep. It's another break. Undefended this time. Yeah. So it's actually uh, six to five now, because he took uh, took an honor from, from Pat. So yeah, he accidentally lost track of a fate that was on the steadfast fast return. Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, you know, what? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, it, Pat's just saying that he bought the steadfast witch winner tooth fate, and then at some point during the conflict, yeah, he got knocked off. So. Yeah. So now, because of that mis miscommunication, William. Uh... Okay. They figured it out amongst themselves. Using the Iron Mind to keep... Uh, Tadaka, most likely. Taka alive, yeah. Taka. Tadaka. Taka. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pierre Lemasson says, uh, Iron Mind men. I agree. Iron Mind is very annoying. It's so funny that, like, one of the big... You know, themes on crab is that the I guess I guess it's supposed to reflect their tenacity, but yes. like the fact that they stick around with zero fate. Yeah. Maybe it's maybe the whole theme of that is that they're cheating fate somehow, or they're living past their like they're living on borrowed time right. uh, for things like reprieve and uh, iron mine. I don't understand how mining comes into it though. Uh, I guess just because they—that means they can resupply yeah. to stay in the battle. Yeah, maybe. 
I'm sure some lore master will tell us uh, the uh, the connection between iron mines and sticking around. So, one of uh, Crab's premier characters, Kaiyu Suichi, comes into play. Uh, and wow, two more iron mines on the Pat's flop. Now, the thing is, uh, Pat actually has a lot of yeah. Pat, yeah, Pat has a uh, has more than a, they can use. A lot of iron mines, but but they're not getting they're not getting broken, so they'll be good yeah. here for future turns. Well, also not only that, but like especially, you know, just based on the the flops right now, it's if if Pat has another. Well, he's used both his assassinations. I don't know if he has a third assassination in his deck or not. So he, he can't quite pull off the same uh, assassination into way the crab combo that he did last turn. We're gonna have to remember to uh, get rid of that too. No, that's my fault. <laughs> so we see a one bid from uh, both players. You know, it's it's actually really surprising how so much is actually getting done on both players' sides, despite the fact that they're both bidding one. Yes. And uh, you know that <laughs> not only just that, but the fact that like both players have been bidding one, and still the honor count is six to five. It's kind of funny. Now, I know a lot of that has to do with Watch Commander and uh, assassination shenanigans, but... Uh, we may we may see Pat here starting to pull ahead in cards with Shurjusuki. I just, I don't, I don't know that he can stop another province from being broken this turn. Oh my god, so many! Yeah, especially since uh, with the steadfast wind hunter, I mean, he can force a he can force a defense and then just ready something and send him in again. Been seeing some really quick games here today. It's, it's weird. Maybe we're just uh, you know lucky to have them on stream, but. It's tough. Now, I, I don't know if William's still deciding uh, whether he wants to initiate a first conflict or not, or if he's actually passed it to Pat. Well, I mean, he's in a situation where the, the wrong decision could potentially put him at, at risk of losing this turn. For sure. So it does look like he actually passed his first conflict. So that means uh, we're going to go for a void political with uh, Taka and Shurjusuki. Ends up uh, seeing a manicured garden. <clears throat> so with a starting strength of four, it's going to force William to defend if he wants to keep this province. Now, William does have a mountain does not fall, which can actually be very useful with Suichi. Plus an ornate fan in William's hand. It's going to go with a double defend here. Nope. Yeah. So just with Suichi. Mount to the other fall. Great play here. <coughs> Yusuke triggering here. Sorry, Shrewd Yusuke triggering. Uh, was that a Haruma skirmisher? It looked like a skirmisher to yeah. me. Well, probably going to see William play an ornate fan here just so he doesn't lose the uh, yeah. conflict. Yep. And of course, the box is always available to him as well. Court games uh, can be a potentially devastating play as well here on Kaiyu Suichi. So that's going to bring. Yeah. I guess. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it was a skirmisher that he drew. I think uh, just... Hmm. See, it's tough, right? Because, I mean, on the one hand, you could say, ah, oh, let him have this one, and then I'll covert him again. But 
Suichi does have covert, so it's not like that Haruma Skirmisher is going to be able to do anything True. to get through, point. get through the. Uh, I mean, you can keep the card, you can keep the guardian out, but yeah. with that, without the ability of, of uh, without being able to break both this turn, I mean, I don't think he does have a lot of fate to yeah. spend. So watch commander coming down. This is actually going to even up the score. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Yeah. So. Oh, sorry. Uh. Hmm? He doesn't have that much strength, right? Taka? Because Taka is dishonored? Yeah. So it's four oh, yeah, sorry, minus yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. And here's the court games honoring Taka. Very nice. <laughs> so honoring Taka, and then William responded by using uh, Suichi's ability to gain a fate because there is a holding in play. Thinking about playing maybe a second ornate fan. I mean, I, I think you should go for it. Like, you're banking on that Suichi to be sticking around for a while anyway, and you might as well just try to win this conflict. Because if you if you play the ornate fan at, at seven, you can use actually, your sorry. He's actually at six. I, I just missed the uh, box trigger there. So. Oh, sorry. Okay. He's yeah. done. But that wasn't enough anyway. It was. Uh... <laughs> Pat ends up winning that conflict. So Haruma skirmisher, but uh, I think Pat's about to realize that he can't covert past Suichi. Well, I think he's actually going to just use the skirmisher as ah, his sacrifice yes. for the set hat. Okay. Which well, one? Okay. He, does, he wants to. <laughs> I'm not. I'm use not the correct. vanguard warrior. To get a fate on uh, one of his characters. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a crab player, so I, I tend to miss these tiny lines. So rebuilding a iron mine. No, no. favorable ground. So that's curious. I wonder what the purpose of that is. Is he just using it to buff up a province, perhaps? Um, no, I, I think it might be where uh, he can now commit enough to break, regardless of defenders. Yeah. And if William decides to let him have it, he could potentially pull back some characters for right. defense. That's the, that's the only thing I can think of here. Well, the thing, the other thing, though, is that William is the first player, and he's already passed his first conflict. Sure. So if William doesn't do a conflict here, oh, right. Pat's yeah, not going to be worried about pushing everything in fair for enough. a second conflict. Um, then, yeah, I'm at a bit of a loss. I think it may just be in Pat's best interest to not to not declare an attack unless he wants the money. Yeah, water military with uh, yep. It's a poke for some money. Maybe. Uh, well, he's gonna force him to commit yeah. some defense here. Probably force the uh, Taka commit. I mean, he could commit. He could go very light and commit the. Uh, Warrior, the, yeah, and, and then favorable grounds if necessary. Yeah, if he, if he commits the Vanguard Warrior between that and the Imperial Favor, he's got three. 
And, and uh, he still has his uh, yeah. stronghold. And Will only has three cards in his hand. So even if he just plays cards out to try to win the conflict, even if he doesn't break it, I think that's upside for Pat as well. So he does he does move in Taka. So that's so going to be plus five, four. One. So yes, five. Thank you. So, I mean, I, I, I'm presuming that Will was thinking about playing another character, but maybe just wanted the money. Yeah. Ooh, a rebuild. What did he have? I think he had an iron mine. Oh, no, he had the district. So he can still. Oh, yes, the crime district. Oh, very nice, very nice. That's a that's strong play. It is a strong play. I wasn't even thinking about that. Yeah. I mean, now he, ha he has a buffed up Suichi, but he's going to have a very naked board next turn. I mean, Pat, I think it's just in Pat's best interest to to pass. No, I... Actually, no, you, you don't... You want the fight, you can dishonor Suichi. Yeah. Is he going for military here? Yeah. Yeah, he's just asking if he's activated the Mancure Garden. Yes, he has. So we're going to do a military conflict. Looks like Vanguard Warrior and Steadfast Witch Hunter. So it's going to be six. Seven. Seven, yep. To four. It does hold off a break, but... Uh, having Suichi dishonored going forward is not not ideal. Ooh, Bonsai. Oh, Bonsai. Oh, you got it already. <coughs> Looks like there's no other further actions. So actually, with that w ring win uh and the glory on Kai Suichi, William ends up taking the favor this turn. Yeah. <laughs> Just explaining that uh the Vanguard Warrior sacrifice. I don't know if I put it on Taka. I think I uh Burn the iron mine on uh, the prawns. Well, I mean, he's got a lot of characters. He could keep them both alive. Yeah, I, be, because he has three characters on the board. I don't think he's in any rush to use those iron mines. So, still, yeah, that favorable grand play with the rebuild, though. I, I still don't understand. Yeah. It looks like William put the favor on military, perhaps? Uh, yes. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, man. <laughs> a lot of money, but <laughs> this is this is irony because, like, look at that. All that money and all that Pat has is a Vanguard well, Warrior. I mean, so that's one of the other reasons about getting rid of the Iron yeah. Mine is potentially getting more characters. I mean, let, especially if you're running a deck with a lot of holdings, right? You have to expect that sooner or later something like this is going to happen. But you, you uh, like this is your opportunity to try to finish it off. It just yep. you got a lot of money. You need characters. You got to give yeah. yourself that opportunity. Yeah, it's it's not so much about outlasting your opponent anymore. It's now about pushing through those final uh, province breaks. So this actually gave William a huge opportunity to stabilize here. Yeah. Use his uh, storehouse to get a card. And with the Karada district online as well. Now, any any sort of unicorn attachments that Pat, Pat ends up dropping, he's not going to want to yeah, play any of them anymore. I mean, with, the, with the one card draws, I don't think he saw any attachments. So. And I just see uh, I saw a reprieve as the uh, one card draw on William's side. And I think on Pat's side, Mountain does not fall. A preemptive Mountain does not fall. 
Yeah, yeah he doesn't want to have to spend a uh, fate for it. Right. Or uh, honor for it, rather, right? Yeah, sorry, that's my bad. Just, just double checking the uh, wording on Corretta District to see if uh, he could use it to get some of those, uh, keep some of those uh, attachments uh, on his own characters, like move, uh, potentially move the Watch Commander over to the Crisis Breaker, but he can't. Yeah, because it says give an opponent, give an opponent, one and fate. it has to be take an opponent, take an no. uh, attachment from that character. From a character that care that player a controls. controls. Yeah. So I suppose if they blackmail one of your characters with uh, with an attachment on it, you could do it, right? Sure. <laughs> we had another question about a blackmail. What was the what was the question? Do you remember? It was something to do with uh, blackmailing an opponent's uh, cami unleashed while you had uh, Kaeda in play or something like that. Like, if you're yeah. attacking with a Sawa Kaeda yeah. as a Phoenix, and you're splashing you, uh, Scorpion, and you blackmail an opponent's Kami Unleashed, and then sacrifice it, the question was whether you can resolve all the ring effects or just right. one of them. Yeah. And I don't know if we ever decided what was the no, answer to that decided. or not. Anyway, back to the game. Looks like it's a military Earth conflict from William with uh, Crisis Breaker and the Vanguard Warrior. Is he defending with everything? Uh, I guess so, yeah. Push he, it forward. Yeah. So it's 10 strength? Yeah. I'm gonna, yeah. Yeah, he, he must be defending with everyone. Oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, William has six. He does have the uh, military yes, favor. thank you. Oh, see, so I was, yeah, I was about, I was about to say this is like a huge overcommit by Pat, except uh, William just said that uh, there are a bunch of keeper monks in Pat's discard pile, right? So that's why he's over defending here, and of course there's a steadfast witch hunter, so you can just use one of the keeper monks yeah. to ready uh, whatever he wants. Yeah. And Pat will get his own. And again, and the mountain we'll does not fall on Taka too, right? So he didn't Fair doesn't enough. bow with it, yeah. Now that keeper is good as well because that gives uh, gives him something to sacrifice for the steadfast witch hunter. Yep. So he does not want to uh, avoid the vanguard warrior's ability. Yeah, it'll be even better target for Ayuchi Wayfinder. Woo. Oh no, uh, this I, I know why he's doing this. It's because he has the Gaijin customs in his hand. Oh, right. I guess so. Still not. Yeah, sorry. He looked at the uh, Stumble yeah. Province. I, I was not paying enough attention to see what he exposed. Maybe, maybe it's because he's just sick with cash that he's just like, eh, whatever, I can afford to keep this around. If you want to assassinate, be my guest. Well, he's, not, four he's honor, not drawing so. anything, so yeah. if he has the Gaijin custom, that, uh, that at least gives him access to that for the next couple rounds. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. So we said he wouldn't waste the uh, Vanguard Warrior to uh, trigger the Steadfast Witch Hunter, but it looks like he does. Okay. Uh, Wait, did he just move a? Did he just move a fate from that to that? Yes, he did. Is there a reason why he did that? Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any ability that might be that we might be not thinking of. Oh, okay. We're just gonna find out why that happened. I don't think there's supposed to be a fate on the on the steadfast witch hunter. But anyway, while Travis goes over there to resolve it, we're gonna see a political conflict with uh, all of Pat's ready characters. Okay. So it looks like uh, political two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And wow, another mountain does not fall by William. Mountain does not fall, probably the MVP card of this game. And that looks like a three, four, five, six, seven, eight defense right now. 
I think if now Will said that he had seven. No, yep. So, all right, hold on a second. So Victor was just telling them what the count was. So just going to determine whether uh, Pat is going to do anything to try to win this conflict. Yeah, sorry. Normally I wouldn't interfere with something like that, but that's not simply a missed opportunity. That's yeah. an incorrect representation of the board state. So. So it looks like he's going to Gaijin Customs to ready uh, Shujisuke, and presumably favorable grounds will follow that up. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that brings in that extra point that he needs. It's actually 10 to 9 now. Oh, it's political, right? Sorry. Yeah. All right. So yeah, now, now Pat wins the conflict. Uh, interesting. They, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, it does. It does matter. Winning the water ring, he could have uh, bowed Siuchi. What did What did he resolve water on? He. I don't, oh, I don't know that he did. So Siuchi is going to do an. Did um, he Did he bow the Vanguard Warrior? Perhaps. No, I think. Didn't, maybe he did, but I thought they had uh, attacked. Oh. Yeah, he's just he, so he's just going to let this uh, trigger. So Pat's actually now at three honor, and uh, Will's at five. I'll let you do that. This is a, a lot closer than we thought it would be yeah. at this point. It, I, but I, like like you said, Travis. Uh, I think I think not using those iron mines last turn allowed William to crawl his way back uh, the way he did, and now he's actually opened the door for a possible uh, dishonor victory with the uh, the watch commander, uh, as well as you know potential air pokes because you have a really huge buffed up Suichi. Uh, just poking with with air conflicts might be enough to uh, put it over the edge. But uh, as as I was as I was saying while you were away from the table, <laughs> as I was saying while you were away from the table, I think that uh, the mountain does not fall. has actually been doing a lot of work for both players this game. Absolutely. Yeah. Sees another copy of Taka after Taka's gone, and has an envoy. Uh, oh, another Suichi to keep him around in the turn. And then I think we'll see, we'll probably see Kasada coming in from William's side. What is, what is, this guy's Hida, the, it's the new uh, character from, from the, uh, uh, sorry, the Phoenix pack, right? It's Hida something. Uh, Amora? Yeah. Yes. I don't think he's going to play No, he's not but, playing him, but just, yeah. just uh, for reference. Well, the thing is, like, during this, I don't, I don't think it's Pat's going to pass a conflict this phase, so you don't want to play a character that can't participate in, uh, yeah. in a political conflict. But yeah, is going to be a good play, especially with the, um, now that Pat has his own Karata district. Now, he can do that outside of the conflict phase, but the funny thing is, I mean, William can just use Karata district again to take it back. So he just want the other body, yep. which I can understand. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we're going to see a bit of one again for both players. Yeah. Yeah, because... So funny. I think 
the, the amount of cards that both players have drawn this game is equal to like the amount of cards that a scorpion player draws on the first turn. <laughs> So William with the first player, he's going to have an opportunity to poke yeah, first. Yeah, I have a feeling it's going to take these guys a little bit of time yeah. to think through how they want this round to flow. So Will, Will does have covert. He's, he's going for military first, that's interesting. Well, I mean, they, there's not really a risk of sending the Crisis Breaker, right? Well, see, what I would have done, though, is I would have attacked with Hida Moro first, leave Crisis Breaker back. No, because you want, you want to be able to use him in defense as well. Well, what I was saying is, okay, you attack with Hida Moro. If they defend with more defense, then you can send Crisis sure. Breaker in. But you can only use that action once, right? So maybe that's why he doesn't want to commit. But Yeah. And, I mean, William's got to put some pressure on, right? He's a couple provinces behind at this point. We, we only have so much time left. Uh, looks like uh, seven to seven. Did I get that right? That's right. It's a long way for William to go for a break here. I don't think he wants to break. You just need to, so, you just need to win, right? So meditations. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Cancel so like Casada. Casada trigger canceled that. Yep. He's gonna go for a card now. Ooh, finger of jade and court games. Think he kept the f court games? I would assume so. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no. William, William's passing. Yeah. So. With a box that's going to buff it plus four. Um, now William was saying that it was a seven to seven. Uh, I think they're forgetting they forgot yeah, the favor. I think they forgot the favor. I don't think Pat needed to use the box in that conflict, but it is what it is. So now Pat, I think. See, here's the the thing. It's actually in Pat's best interest to pass a conflict, but that Hito Moro is actually relevant now, especially with the amount of defenders uh, Pat committed to that first right. conflict. I mean, not really. Like, sacrificing an envoy at this point is not really a hard, hard thing to do. Yeah, you're right. So that's a card and two resources. Yeah, let's see if he remembers. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, Travis, what do you think of... Is that the last assassination that he drew? Ooh. That'd be the dead card. Perfect. Oh, that's true, yeah. But what, what do you think about uh, Taka's uh, impact on this game, Travis? He's got a pile of fate that he's not using. So, I, But I don't think that's a consequence of Taka. I think that might have been a consequence of his flops. Because even, even despite those... Sure. I mean, I think Taka could have had a big impact here. Yeah. But he didn't. Right? I mean, it didn't enable him to play any cards. Right. No, you're right. Uh, absolutely. But, I mean, it does demonstrate how big of an impact Taka can have. And, and this is in a situation where it's a crab mirror where, theoretically, he could have been collecting a lot more money than he has been because he was not taking it off of his opponent's crab characters leaving play. That's like you said, though, Travis. What is he going to do with that extra money? But it's, it is good practice to remember well, those triggers. He, he, could, he, he could have been playing a lot more fate than all, all the characters that he's bringing into play. Like, there's no reason that people should be leaving ever. True. But the big thing is he wants to be able to draw cards so he can spend money on. Now, what I want to check is if Hida Amoro is a double-edged sword. Yes, he is. Ooh. So, uh, as with most of the characters that have an effect, it's after a player rather than after an opponent. Right. Oh, is this a political conflict with Ida Kasada? That's so funny. I mean, he's got to be. He has got the crisis breaker to come help out on the military defense. 
and yeah, then Suichi can help with the political defense. So, ooh, mm, mm. eh. You know, remember, William is ahead here. Or no, he's behind. So he's got a actually. Well, it depends on your point of view, right? Yeah. Yeah, it really depends on your point of view. I mean, he is winning five to three as far as honor goes. Yeah, I just mean like right now it's uh, yeah five five to two mm -hmm. in terms of end of game scoring. So Guardians of Saketsu got uh, revealed. Sekitsu, sorry, Sekitsu. Yeah, so it's Earth roll. It's the Earth roll only card. And after the promise is revealed, you bow each character with printed cost two yeah. or less. Um, yeah, those are not cards that William has in play right now. Well, also, if you triggered the ability, Pat would only be bowing his Aichi Wayfinder. So. Now, the thing to remember is uh, this trigger affects characters on both sides yep. and characters that are not in the conflict. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, on the defense, there is no, are no characters in the conflict yet, but... <laughs> so, so did, Pat, did Pat declare with both uh, the yeah, Wayfinder looks like, it looks and like he did. Taco? Looks like he did. Because I don't think he's used the Witch Hunter yet, so he's able to sack something to, to ready uh, a character to attack back. So he chooses to spend. I think still, he's just gonna he's gonna do it. At, why did he take a fate there? Oh, he took yeah, he had he, the fate he gave him fate. Yeah. <laughs> William's just saying, yeah, I could just steal right back. So it's six to four now. Sorry, six to one. Six to two. Oh, six to two. Six to two. Sack to ready steadfast witch hunter at home. Yep. Oh, is the Wayfinder not in the conflict? Mm, I guess not. It's tough to tell if we didn't hear the call at the beginning. I don't know. I, there's no. I don't think there's any need to do the witch hunter trigger yet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Will was under the impression that Casada was still active, but he did lose the first conflict, so. so. Ah, okay, that's why. So, did the smart, sacrifice, smart use the witch hunter, yep. the keepers, and the discard to use now. <laughs> William's saying he's not used to playing against crab, which I guess is true. Actually, in Toronto, there's not a lot of crab players. So, yeah, uh, so he, did, he did have the Wayfinder in there, Wayfinder, yeah. yeah. Taking the Watch Commander back, not a big surprise. I think Pat did that too to make sure that his Reprieve uh, actually stuck. Because he's probably going to play it on the Witch Hunter here. Fair. Yeah, Yeah, sorry, because Pat does have a Reprieve in his hand, so that means that because he did that Karate District dance, um, when he plays a Reprieve, it won't, it won't be stolen by William. So this, this game is almost certainly going to go to time. I don't. I don't think Pat has the characters to get through to the stronghold, and uh, William doesn't have enough time to get all the breaks he needs. No. Uh, let's see. So, well, the thing is, though, like, if it goes to time, then uh, it's not an auto win for Pat, and no, William sorry. could. Yeah. Yeah. So void political, just with the steadfast witch hunter.
just preventing uh, Suichi from uh, being able to come back and uh, break a province. Yeah. Use the Manicure Garden, use the Suichi's ability. Did he map not fall earlier? Oh, yeah, too. Did he play Mountain Dew? Yeah, that was one of the, the next one is this card. No, but he played that earlier. Hold on. Right. I was first player, so he's not attacking back in this. Catch up. He just didn't do it because it was the end of conflict, but. Now, do you know if he if he removed the fate from Taka? Uh, I, did he only have one on him? I wasn't paying enough attention to that. It's hard to tell from the overhead camera, but it looks like there's two fate on Taka. Did he have? Did he play him with three fade out? I don't know. I don't know. So this is actually, I don't know. Oh, that's, that, I think William may have yeah. lost the game here with that flop. I think I think it was bound to happen. I mean, Pat had to dig through so many holdings that I think at some point he was just going to, it was the clog, so to speak, was going to clear up. And he had to make his decision about what he was going to discard quickly. So yeah. when he kept his Karate District, Pat decided to let his go. Mm -hmm. Three fate was a little much, I think, given the time left in the game. <laughs> but apparently, both players want to. Yeah. I mean, I understand getting one. You, you avoid the water ring, and but it's not as if they're drawing a lot of cards to do it. I really wish he wouldn't stack his uh, fate. But... Judging how many fate is on a character by the length of the shadow is a little tricky. I wonder where Pat got that uh, dial from. It looks 3D printed. <laughs> Might be one of those magnetized dials. You're gonna have to ask Pat where he got it from. Oh, all right, uh, yeah. I was gonna start predicting what's gonna happen here, but I don't know. So, so I think um, I think a poke here is actually decent. Like with the, uh, you could even just send in the Ayuchi Wayfinder and the uh, Initiate. You could even send in the Shurugisuki just to get card draw. Sure. But you just have to be aware of Hidekasada in play. So if you want to get Shurugisuki's ability off, you're gonna have to um, you're gonna have to find a way to. Waste Casada's ability first. Yeah, there aren't great ways to do that. Pat just trying to decide the best formation for his cards. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you gotta close ranks to make sure the shields are all touching. <laughs> Yeah, looks like a military conflict here for four. So, Shrewd Yasuki and Crisis Breaker. Five. Uh, yeah, you're right. Five with the uh, with the favor against the Karate District. 
What do you think that last uh, province is? Let's see. So far, it's air, fire, void. Defend the law, maybe? Yeah, yeah, probably. Because there's water and earth left. Yeah, you really don't want to hit defend the wall, especially if you're gonna if you're gonna do an air air, air province attack with uh, three honor. Well, I mean, so it's either defend the wall or it's public form, really, right? Yeah. Those are the two options. So, uh, huge defense by William here. I think just to make sure that uh, Hida Kasada's ability stays relevant. Well, not just that; he just he can't afford to lose a province. Yeah. Looks like Pat might have drawn a charge that's going to be no good to him now. Now, can you can you charge without any characters in your provinces? No. Just to counter Casado? No. We don't. Because you, you need change, a character, you the, right? You can't change yeah. the board, so. I call that the Andres rule. Well, it's the same reason that Sunho was asking earlier if he can charge a character with uh, that cannot participate in a military conflict. I guess you could. Sorry. No, you can't. No, they can't participate, so you can't have ever added them. All right, he's just going to let him have that one. It's, it's tough for Will, too. I mean. I think you just pass here. The, the problem with passing is that the state of the game right now is such that when time runs out, and time will probably run out before this round concludes, uh, if nothing else changes, Pat ends up getting a modified win. Because I think between the favor and the, uh, the two province breaks, that's five, to, five points to two. So, like a shameful display. Yeah. Not a surprise. I mean, I think I think you pass your first conflict here, and then you see what Pat does. Yeah, you see what Pat does for a second conflict, and then you just try to overcommit. But I mean, unfortunately, Pat's yeah. maneuvered it such that you can't really. He needs to break a problem. Oh no, he's yeah. got one break and broken now. So. Uh, <laughs> that's not enough to win. That's uh, four. It's still four to five for Pat. No, that's fine. But then it's just a matter of potentially claiming the favor. Yeah. If if Pat gets the favor, that's four. It's five to four then. Well, they, it's four to four, and then the favor, right? So whoever has the favor has the slight edge. So Pat has five. William has four. Well, that's right. But it's four to four, and then the favor is the tiebreaker. Which Pat has. So now, the difference is if if William can break or get the favor, that he can edge. Yeah. Get ahead. All, no, I'm just saying all that William needs to do is get the favor. Yeah, I guess that's yeah, what I'll, that's, that's what I was also yeah. saying. So we got 20 seconds. Do you want to just inform them? That well, I'd let them know when time is up. Yeah. I think, I think they, you guys are the only ones that are still playing, so... Oh, this is the last table? I think everyone else is Okay. Finished. Okay. All right. Yeah, so Travis is going to go over the table and inform them that the time is now up. And they're going to just do a quick assessment of the board to find that... to find that uh, Pat isn't indeed up five points to four. Uh, so if people don't know, the way it works is that when time is called, uh, for each player you immediately figure out well, it looks like a handshake just happened. I think uh, Pat just won.